All right, guys, welcome to this video where we're going to see now how to populate our images from parts. In the previous video, we saw how to do this, populate this uh, images. So in this one, let's go ahead and uh, do the population, populating. <laughs> all right, so let's, first of all, we are going to need, uh, as you can see here in the XML, we're going to need a single uh, row XML file that will be responsible for populate for showing how our single row will look like so how to design a single row is done by going to the layout and creating a new layout resource file and we're going to call this single row dot xml all right and it's a linear layout and that's okay and then so we're going to need an image view. So let's have an image view. And I'm going to say the width to match the parent. Match parent. OK. And the height to about 500 device pixels, maybe. Is that too large? Yeah. Oof, super large. Maybe 100 maybe 150 really okay just like you know I don't know kind of an image app where you scroll images right anyway or and then they have some text on top of each other those are stuff you could do by designing here on the single row and they will appear on each uh, row on a list view it's a it's gonna look exactly like this you know however you design design this place <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so this is an image view. We're going to call this, I'm going to call this image view home, something like that. All right, so that's it. That's it. Now, so we're going to be using this to adapt, this single row to adapt into our main activity. So let's go ahead and create an adapter file, an adapter class. So we'll just create a Java class, and I call this main activity. I was saying adapter as well, just so you know. And I call it main activity because it's going to adapt the main activity. That's how I do it. If I have uh, another activity, let's say uh, chat adapter, uh, chat activity, I say chat activity adapter kind of thing, you know, so just to be consistent and it just lines up the same so you know what you're working with. And uh, so this one, you're going to extend an array adapter because you're going to be to be populating an array of parse objects so we say array adapter and in here it's parse objects an array of parse objects right and here we're going to need some uh, methods actually a constructor so we're going to say public main activity adapter right that's the constructor and we say context so first of all let's create a private context here private context m context m context private um, list these are variables of uh, parse object and this is m images so these are the images that we're going to get from purse and this is the context that we, we are in so by we're creating an adapter we want to have a context and a list of images to populate that's pretty much what that means and here in the <clears throat> in the constructor okay so the previous video is done again all right so i'll just ignore that for now um maybe it's too much stuff on the screen oh, wow. i'll just ignore it really <laughs> and uh, this is going to be another it's going to be a list here and this is a list of parse objects so each constructor initialization should have a list of parse, parse objects and this is the images images list and then here I think why that is happening we need to call super and say you know what I'll just get that from my adapter here context and then the single row just matter of fact 
copy this whole thing step by step guys let's just copy step by step so we see what we're working with so we understand exactly so i'll just copy this super here in the constructor and then now the single row as you can see is this single row xml this is the one that we're going to populate our data to right the single row then here we just simply say m context now we say this this is the um this is in in Java programming is called an encapsulation, or is it? Uh, you know, you, you put data private, but then you have a way of accessing them. So you can read more about that when you get a chance. And the context, and then M images, M images. All right, we're hiding our data here and images. is images right and then so we're done with that constructor there so one other thing we're going to need is now get the variables where we're going to be working with so in this case we have an image view if we had a let's see a simple text like a single text like, let's see this had a text here if we had some text there uh, on our list view you know that would appear on each of them so we give it an ID we do also have to initialize that uh, but in this case, let me just show you what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'll just create a public static void um, view holder. Is it static void or is it just static class? All right, let me just copy the static class. It's not a method, it's a class. It's an inner class. All right, so this, as you can see, image view, it takes, we just uh, create an image view, which is this image view right here, which is what we have, the data we have. If, we have, if we're gonna use the text view, we'd have also created another variable for text view. But in this case, we're not gonna be using that. So this is just an example. So I'll just delete that, just delete it from here. And uh, that is good. And right, and then so I'm going to call this home image. Yeah. All right, and then now one more thing we're going to need is this get view method. This is what we need to override here. So paste the get view method in there, and that's pretty much it. And then here. If you really say we have a final view holder holder if convert view is equal to now if there's no convert view con create a convert view uh, inflated from the single row so it's pretty much straightforward guys and then now our the ID that image homepage is this uh, image right here so we're just gonna get the ID image view home because you're kind of like uh, uh, initializing it here you know we could have this up there or down here it doesn't matter and that's pretty much it so we initialize it, it here we call we give it a holder dot home, home image and then down here holder dot home image is where we use Picasso now, this is another library that I have to talk to you guys about so Picasso is a library that we need and it's a library that is very useful for populating images in the sense uh, it allows uh, you know images loading uh, is it asynchronously uh, it's pretty much cool you've seen this in uh, when you're scrolling on Facebook and then the images load one at a time when you as you scroll down so it kind of saves uh, you from loading all the images and wasting resources other than just load the necessary images depending on the screen so Picasso is an awesome library to use or you can use uh, Android image uh, there's one in github uh, called uh, Android image uh, image loader I think yeah something like that but it's something to check about to check, check, check uh, take a look at so Picasso is what we need uh, uh, Picasso is found you can find it on github or I'll just come here to Picasso Android or Picasso Square
so square Picasso right here and this is what we need so we could use Gradle and you can read more about it right here so we could use Gradle to just use it so compile using Gradle and to just come to build that Gradle and just paste it down here and then sync your project that project is synced and Picasso should be working if all goes well really unless yeah so there we have Picasso working now if you read more here we have purse object is the object m images that get position we're using this position in the get view so just copy this code and just use it the way it is guys it will just work right off the bat unless there's really anything to be uh, so as you can see this one is like this because we haven't used it now we have to use it in our main activity so in here let's create a, a method here let's create a method outside here say uh, public let's just make it a public method public void uh, query parse you know query images from parse right And then in here we say parse query, not object, but parse query. We're querying parse object, and then images query equals to new parse query. Yeah, I mean the reason we're doing this, we need to query parse, is because of course it's not going to work. Let me just so actually get rid of this. So that I run it after writing the adapter and the single row. So just to see, it doesn't do any changes. It's until we use the adapter in our activity. So we just, here we just basically created an adapter. We haven't used it at all. So we need to use this adapter. And by using this adapter, I mean we have the main activity adapter. We're going to just create this. We are going to give it a context and we're going to give it a list of parse objects that we query. And then it's going to use this adapter to adapt into our single row. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here by uh, doing that. So let me just show you. As you can see, nothing happens. If I add another image, it's just going to work. But really, that's pretty much it. Nothing. There's no populating of images. So and that's why I was creating this. All right. I hope that is really clear because I thought maybe I jumped too fast. All right. So in this Java 8, I don't really need this. I'm using Java 8. I think the SDK is 8 or whatever. And then... Uh, so we're querying image uh, we need to be really precise about this what we are querying here so we need to write this so if you can expand that I don't even know but you know you know how to you know what you called it you could just come here and yeah right here image uploads so you could just query that All right and then say images query dot Finding background, right? We find everything in background. We say new finding background callback. And then we say if there's no error. Now we check out this E here. If E equals to null, there's no error. Alright. We want to let's say first of all, I like to always just toast myself to just see that. Oh, we got we gotta have something here. So let's say main activity that this and then objects. So this objects are image objects, I guess. Image images. Yeah. Let's just call it images. Images dot size. So size of course is going to give you an int to get rid of that. You could just put plus those or you could just say to string. Convert that to string, but I uh, however you prefer so task that length and then dot show right then else we want to get an error here and we say copy the toast and then uh, here we just don't print the image we just say e dot get message what's the message what's the error message here right so i haven't used this method yet let's 
query it first of all so we just toast to ourselves how much how many images we have now let's run that let's give it a second and as you can see we have six that's pretty cool and then it's, uh, let's refresh we have five here first and then is it six really yep it's six so there we have it we have six images now let's see how to populate those six images right now we don't need this toast anymore here but we're gonna need that one for error just so we know it there's an error now to populate this we have the list of images here and the adapter needs a list of <laughs> images right and a context we have the context which is main activity like this or get application context so we could just simply say let's create a new instance of the adapter we call this adapter equals to new main activity adapter and this main activity adapter like we said here you know we've used it now it takes a context and a parser list of parsed objects so the context here is main activity or we could say this I mean, inside of inside of our done here so maybe main activity that this works and then um the the list is images here right images and then we say set list adapter that's the advantage of using a list activity here we just simply say set list adapter and uh, we give it an adapter and that's uh, let's see if that works really I think this should work so if I run the app we have a list of images on our parts look at that and that's the images six images so we have one two three four five six six right so that's pretty cool really Add another one as another seven one, but we can't see the differences because this is I'm using an emulator. But if you test using a real device, you could upload real images and it's going to be uh, shown here. If you want to upload, uh, arrange it by descending, you could just always say, uh, Come here and just decide how you want to query your images, uh, order by descending to get the uh, wherever, wherever we're ascending, or where equal, where less than you know that uh, constraint. You could decide to do that, uh, but in this case. This is really working and that's what we're looking for so also if you want to make your images look big like in this case you know you can just come to the xml file now and just start working on this maybe say you want the scale type to center crop center crop <laughs> and then uh stuff like that you know you know you could just make it like that i don't know just come up with some cool ideas about how to make your app add another one upload take a photo uh, as you can see it looks weird because of this image view like I said it's a bad design but it was just for the sake of showing you guys so there we have it guys uh, uploading images and fetching it from Android from parse uh, thanks for watching guys thanks for coming all this way and uh, make sure you subscribe uh, like and share and uh, all right I see you in the next uh, tutorials. Make sure you know if you have any question, just request via the box I have below, or ask me questions. Uh, if when I have time, I'll be more than happy to answer. Also, if you have any anything if you'd like to donate, uh, just hit the PayPal donate button when it comes uh, you come across it. And thanks again, guys, for the support, and thanks for watching. And let's keep learning and let's keep going. Thanks again.